Approximately one in three women in the United States today has cardiovascular disease. Responsible for approximately 400,000 deaths each year in women, CVD is the nation's number one cause of death in women, higher than deaths from all types of cancer combined. In fact, CVD-related deaths in women has regularly exceeded those in men since 1985. With everything we know about health and wellness today, why are so many women still developing cardiovascular disease? The prevalence of heart disease in American women, unfortunately, is quite high. It impacts one in three women, and over 400,000 women die of manifestations of cardiovascular disease every year. And what is very concerning is that only 56% of women have an awareness that cardiovascular disease carries a higher mortality than all forms of cancer combined. One of the contributing factors to why heart disease in women is underappreciated is because a woman can have very different presenting symptoms for cardiovascular disease compared to a man. Often men have very classic symptoms of chest pain or pressure that radiates into the left side of their chest. A woman, however, can have right-sided chest pain, pain in between her shoulder blades, or simply jaw or even just chin pain. And because of this, a woman can either be misdiagnosed or undiagnosed for having cardiovascular disease. An important step women can take to reduce the risk of heart disease is to know the risk factors. There are numerous risk factors for the development of cardiovascular disease, and these include both modifiable as well as non-modifiable risk factors. Non-modifiable risk factors would include your genetic background, family history, age, your gender, your ethnicity. And modifiable risk factors, or risk factors that we can improve through either lifestyle modification or medication, include hypertension, obesity, diabetes, cigarette smoking, physical inactivity, poor diet, and importantly, your LDL cholesterol. Known as the body's bad cholesterol, a person's level of low-density lipoprotein cholesterol has a significant effect on a person's cardiovascular risk level. Research shows that reducing LDLC reduces risk of CVD. Studies from around the world have shown that irrespective of your gender, race, or ethnicity, as your LDL cholesterol levels rise, so does your risk for developing cardiovascular disease. Other studies have shown that when we reduce LDL cholesterol, either through lifestyle modification, medication, or a combination of the two, risk for cardiovascular disease decreases in proportion to the magnitude of the LDL cholesterol reduction. This is one of the most intensively investigated issues in modern medicine, and we are very certain that reducing LDL cholesterol significantly impacts risk for developing cardiovascular disease. Fortunately, for many patients, developing high LDLC may be controlled. When Cindy Waters was diagnosed with cardiovascular disease, she didn't know how high her LDLC was, or even what role it played in her overall health. Under her doctor's supervision, she modified her diet and activity level and lowered her LDLC. I always thought that women had a problem with cancer. That that, because everything you ever hear is cancer. You know, you have breast cancer and uterine cancer and ovarian cancer. That's everywhere. But heart disease just never was anything on my scope. I would hear men, you know, but I never heard about women really. I never paid attention to it until it happened to me. It's extremely important for a woman to work in collaboration with her healthcare provider to have her cardiovascular disease risk assessed. She needs to have her cholesterol and blood pressure checked. She should be evaluated for diabetes. And she needs to implement a lifestyle modification program which can include exercise, a heart healthy diet, very importantly, smoking cessation if she smokes, and when appropriate, she should consult with her physician to determine whether or not medication might be appropriate 
or bringing any of her risk factors under control. I was not aware that I had an LDL cholesterol problem until after I had the heart attack. At that point, everything changed. I was put on medication, my diet is different, I walk every day, I quit smoking. My lifestyle has totally changed from what it was before.